Today we're going to be looking at a Bluetooth speaker that gets 4.8 stars out of 5. That's with 2,513 reviews and 86% of those reviews are 5 star. This Bluetooth speaker comes in at just under £30. Now, I have never reviewed a Bluetooth speaker on this channel before, but I have owned Bluetooth speakers in the past. Some have been pretty good, some have been pretty rubbish. So we're going to be looking at that speaker today on this channel. Welcome back to Supreme Guru Tech. I'm Anne-Marie and let's dive into this video. So I went through all the reviews on Amazon on this particular speaker and it consistently gets a really good rating on Amazon. Are you able to guess what this speaker is? I don't think you have any idea, do you? Well, it's this. The JBL Go 3. So I've took it out of its box. We're going to get it connected to my device and we're going to do a little sound quality testing on this speaker and get my first impressions on this. And then we're going to look at the specs of this £29 speaker and see if it's worth it. Maybe 86% of the people that reviewed this are right about the five stars. We'll find out. So I've got my... That wasn't as smooth as what I wanted it to be. Let's try again. So I have my phone. Let's get it connected up to this JBL Go 3. So I'm going to hit the power on button. If you've ever owned a JBL speaker in the past, that is its sound. Mm -hmm. And we're connected and we'll test this out at 50%. First off the bat it's got Surprisingly good bass for the size of it. The audio is super clear. Let's put it up to 100% of volume. The sound that comes out of that £29 speaker shouldn't, for the size of it. Okay, so first impressions are 
it's got good bass for for the 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 size of this Bluetooth speaker, the clarity of the instrumentals and the guitars and stuff like that were really clear. Um, I don't feel like any of the sounds were missed out or lost. Uh, okay. I mean, it's impressive. It's definitely impressive. So, what else? I actually, I'm, I'm a wee bit shocked because I have owned the, um, the JBL Go 2 and the difference in sound quality from that to this is night and day. Okay. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Yeah. It's worth £29. Let's let's just change the song just so we can get something a bit different. No, maybe not that. listening to that sound quality through the audio of my Rode Video Micro. So I don't know if you're getting the same experience as what I'm getting, but flat me, that's good. That is good. JBL are quite well known for their audio. And I'm pretty sure they're linked up with Harman Kardon. Aren't they? I think so. Um, who are also well, really well known for their audio. So, um, okay, let, let's talk about the design of it. So you have a lot of rubberized texture. So you've got the rubberized texture of the JBL logo on the front. Just to let people know, you're obviously rocking a JBL product. Quite nice. You've got the rubberized texture on the back now. I obviously you saw whenever I said that then it started to go a wee bit crazy. Um so maybe don't listen to music that way. I'm not too sure why we've got the rubber on the back for that. But it looks nice. Um and then you've got the rubberized um feet. Uh, are they called feet? I don't know, a grid here. So it means that it's pretty sturdy whenever you've got it sitting like this. Again, on the side you've got the the rubberized texture. You've got the Go Three, um, the Go Three. What is the word for it? Logo. I don't know. Brandon. And then you've got your two uh, main buttons: your power button and your Bluetooth button. Very easy to connect up, as you could see. Um, along the top again, you've got your. Oof, on this side. Play and pause, your volume up and your volume down. You've also got this little uh, loop that has a rubberized added bit to it, which is quite nice. I suppose you could just throw that into your bag and you don't really have to worry about it. It's, it looks robust. I love the fabric on it. And there's loads of different colours. You can actually get this in. There's um like a camouflage one, which is really nice. But I went with this. I don't even know what colour you would call that. Is that teal? Teal? Um 
Yeah, I, I, I really love the design of it. Um, and the best thing about this is it's got USB Type C charging for twenty nine pounds. I know I keep saying twenty nine pounds, but it seems a very small price for this speaker because it's surprisingly loud and punchy for the size of it. The Bluetooth speaker market for compact size Bluetooth speakers is quite competitive. Um, I've watched a lot of reviews and another one that comes out quite well which I might end up purchasing just to compare the two is the Anchor Soundcore Mini and I think it comes in at roughly the same price. Um, the design of the the Anchor Soundcore Mini isn't quite as snazzy as this. But yeah, if you are looking for an alternative, they would be the two sort of brands that I would be looking at. Um, if you also own a compact Bluetooth speaker and you think it is just as good or even better than this, let me know down in the comments below because I would like to find that out and maybe do a review on it. Um, but this has blown me away. So about the specs, you've got five hours of battery life of this. Like I said, it's got USB type C charging, which is awesome because most of the devices nowadays have USB type C. So at least it's got that updated charging style. Um, five, hour, five hours of battery life seems pretty decent. Um, obviously you can plug a power bank into that with a USB type C charger. You do get a USB type C charger with this. The only thing I would say about that is the lead is quite small. I would have liked a longer lead with that, but that's just a small gripe. It's IP67, so you can get this wet. A lot of people use this for in the shower, so you don't have to worry about dust or water, which is really good too, at the end, for the price. It fits nicely in the hand. I have quite small hands, and um, so yeah, so it's a nice compact size. Yeah, my overall impressions are it's it's good value for money. No, sorry, it's really good value for money. Um, definitely something that you can take on holidays with you, have it by the pool, not worry about it getting splashes. Uh, it's gonna pack a punchy, loud sound coming from it and the sound is crystal clear to, to me it's, it's quite crystal clear um this interests you in any way whatsoever and you're in the market of buying a new bluetooth speaker then i will obviously leave the link whoops leave the link down in the description below i will also leave the specs down in the description below if you want to check out more on that this is just my first impressions of the JBL Go 3 speaker. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, you have been watching and listening to Anne-Marie from Supreme Guru Tech. Peace.